and welcome to Grunty Industries. A absolute hellscape. You know, considering the fact that, you know, Gruntilda owns an amusement park, and, you, you know, you'd think that would be the th place that's themed after absolute horrors upon horrors. No, it's actually her business. Which she also apparently has. Go figure, am I, am I right? I mean, you wouldn't really expect that, but at the same time... Okay, for whatever reason, my double jump didn't work. That's a little odd. Interesting. Uh, her owning a factory that can, you know... Oh, all right, cool. That spews toxic chemicals into the environment and what have you. I mean, all that. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, was I supposed to... Yeah, that is how I was supposed to do it. All right, well, whatever. My way is also valid. I've got enough health to justify it. Okay. Hey, a signpost. What's that all about? Short on battery power. Try look at here. One, above the world entry and exit. Two, floor two, guarded by tin tops. Floor two, near the electromagnetic chamber door. Floor three, near Mumbo Skull. All right, the batteries, the batteries. Oh, it is sort of coming back to me now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so is going down there an advisable thing? Oh, yep, it actually is. Here we go. At least I found this ahead of time. That's nice, at least. Open up that train station, please. I do believe that's the only reason you'd want to come over here. Not 100% on that, but I, I believe so. Technically, I guess there's... Wait a second, now that I think about it. Huh. Don't I... I think I needed to do that to get inside of the building, actually. Is that true? Hang on a moment, hang on a moment. Let me take a quick cursory look back at that front door. Also, yeah, hey, I see you over there, Battery. Yeah, we'll be acquainted later, don't you worry about that. But yeah, if I remember correctly, I could jump over there, but that ain't gonna make anything for ya. I, I don't have the boots. Yeah, actually, I think you need to use the train to even be able to properly access the level. Huh, well, how about that? That's pretty crazy. Okay, then, sure. Yeah, all right, sure, 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 sure. Um, I'm gonna go to the clifftop summon Chuffy there, and I'll meet you guys inside the train station for this place. Be right back. Either we absolutely had to do it this way, or it's a really neat alternative. Either way, I don't really feel bad about my choice, if I'm being honest with you. All right, had to break into the place one way or another. Why not do it via train? And if you didn't want me to do it via train, then maybe she shouldn't have given me the ability to open up the train bay doors from the outside of the building. Granted, there was a large moat of toxic chemicals that I had to cross, and granted, you'd have had to have been kind of stupid in order to have jumped through those things, but I did, I totally did. Okay, let's see here. Let's try to actually look over the area before we just leave. Right, right. Sentient barrels literally everywhere for whatever reason. Ain't that just the best thing in the world? He said rather sarcastically. All right. Just looking around. Exports and what have yous. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I definitely could go that way, but what if I went this way instead? I would like to satisfy my curiosity if it's all the same today. And they being ye, and the ye being me, you see. Yes, it all makes sense if you don't think about it. Fragile! Fragile in the sense that I can break it? Yes. Yes, it is. Cool! Alright, does that mean shock string? Shock, shock? Shock spring jump pads are fragile? Is that the implication here? Oh, lord. Okay. Well, at least I know what I was supposed to grab onto. At least I sure feel like... Okay, well, grabbing onto it doesn't seem to be a thing. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, nope, I can. I can do this. This works better. Woohoo! Infinitely preferred. Infinitely preferred. And... Ah, and I still found a way to screw it up. That is... That is giftedly bad. Let's be honest with ourselves. Or at least let's me be honest with you guys. I mean... Honestly, some might be impressed at how incredibly poorly I managed to mess that thing up to sight how incredibly easy of a jump that was. So, you should technically be in awe of my incompetence. Have you ever seen somebody fail so hard? I say that knowing full well that I'm not the worst Let's Player in the world. I know there are people worse at games doing this. Maybe not this game specifically, but in general, oh yeah, definitely. So I can't even say that I'm the best of the worst. 
Ain't that a bummer. Anyway, can I please have that? Thank you. All right. It should be noted. Ow, thanks for that. It should be noted that despite the fa- Oh, boy. Great. Despite the fact that we no longer take damage from hitting the ground, we still have the animation happen. So that's still a thing. So it's still going to look incredibly painful, but it's going to inexplicably not be. Hello? Alert! Intruders detected! Activate the tin tops! Yeah, you go ahead and activate- Oh god, they activated! I just want the notes! I'll be out of your mechanical hair in a moment! God, just let me do a little bit of, you know, wanton robbery. I was gonna say it was something else, but you know, just a little note collecting, but no, actually in retrospect, she probably does have ownership of these particular items now, doesn't she? But she's evil, so we don't really care, you know? Interesting that. Anyway, hello, Worker Man Jones. That's a very big wrench you have, my goodness. Okay, well, that's pretty nifty. Oh. Access denied. Door has insufficient power to open. Battery required. Yeah, you wouldn't say, you wouldn't say. All right, I mean, you don't say, you, you would say, because you did say. All right, so definitely need to go up there, but can't from this current angle. Delightful, my attack wore off before I got the chance. All right, service elevator. Can I actually use that? Nope, it also needs power. Everything in this place does not have, ooh, the workers quarters. Yeah, not a lot of the stuff in this place has actual power. That's what all those batteries we were told about are for. Okay, hello. Oh, cool, the tin tops are back. That's just what we needed a little bit more of in our lives. Hey, don't mind me, I'm just gonna hang out in here. Ooh, mumbo wallpaper? Nice. I like you, I, I, I like your sound. Got a large photo of Humbo in here, don't ya? Look at the state of my overalls. I'll be in real trouble if I can't find a way of getting them clean. Yeah, oh, that sounds like an extraordinarily, hyperly specific thing that you're having trouble with, my dude. I mean, but what are the odds of me being able to find a way to clean your clothes of all things? Like, what do you think? You think I'm gonna get some kind of, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, how about that? You just gonna make more? Yeah, you're just gonna make more. Fair enough. Like, what am I supposed to get? Like, some kind of soap? Eggs? You think that's a thing? Anyway, I just really wanted to show off the magnets that are here. A lot of neat references is all I was trying to point out. Alrighty then. Okay, getting zapped again. This is my life now. Also, hey, it's her again. Neat. Okay, bye. Now that we've fully figured out everything that there is to find in there, I say, not actually confident in my ability to, just ability to say that. Also, hello there. You also seem to be having a whole bunch of dirty clothes. Please find a way of getting my overalls clean. I don't know why that matters so much to you. I feel like Gruntilda isn't exactly the type of gal to, you know, have a strict cleanliness mandate on her workers. Then again, she also seems like the type to just arbitrarily come up with things to punish you for. Intruder in the trash compactor! Clean up droids! Report to floor one! Well, that's a thing now, ain't it? Hmm, fascinating. All right, well, the thing is... That looked like a solo banjo thing, didn't it? Sure did to me. Which means that going this way is not actually something that would make sense for us right now. And we probably shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like a banjo-only button, at least. Whether or not it is, well, I'll come back to it at some other point. You know what I would really like? To get that Jam Jar's ability. Give my sense that small sense of, you know being able to accomplish stuff. That is a really good scream that guy does when he gets bonked on. Pretty nifty. Oh, yep, speak of the split up pad right there. All right, um, I don't suppose this would be one of those things that needs a split up? Oh, no, it's this. Wear these boots and no more falls as they let you walk up walls. Let me tell you how it's done. Kazooie's footprints up your run. Yeah, tragically, you can't just run up every wall that you want. As incredibly awesome as that would be, it would also admittedly kind of break the game in a few ways. So, yeah. So, we can't do that, and that is a bummer. But if we find ourselves some of those, yeah, there we go. We've got suction cup shoes! Let's go! You can only go up these very specific instances, which is a bummer. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Oh well, oh well. Not everything can be, you know, game-breakingly awesome, as it were. All right, I'll bite. What's up here? Probably some horrors, if we're being honest with ourselves. 
Like some real honest to goodness, true, no buts about it horrors. All right, I am on floor two. Yeah, okay, you stop being alive. That's always a good call. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm seeing a bunch of doors. Also seeing not a whole lot of anything else. Oh, hey, all right. Well, no reason to not, I guess. Also, I see you over there, Globo. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, we can do this? Yeah, actually, now that I think about it. Sure, you know what? And if absolutely nothing else, when all else fails, when I transform, I'll find all manner of stuff that I can do as Banjo, and I'll have to come back to. So, yeah, this seems like a good idea. Let's just get the transformation situation out of the air right now. Yo, Humba, how it be? I notice you're no longer gigantic, which is kind of a bummer if I'm being honest with you. But, hey, as long as you've got yourself some magic styles, then everything will work out just fine. hop a -doo. Here we go. What are we going to transform into? You're never going to guess it. So, washing machine. Yeah. It's a washing machine. Wumba call this washer. Use control stick to move and press Z to fire plenty underwear. Yeah, she did not stutter. That is, in fact, your attack. Yeah. Yeah, this game is weird. Also, hey, you remember how those rabbits kept asking for ways to clean their overalls? Yeah. Yeah, this game is weird. Just one second. I just have to make absolutely certain of something. This has worked too often for me to not try. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> there was a chance that that wasn't what I had to do, but I knew it. It's very much a, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, three times, four times. That's really my bad sort of type situation. I'm going to try to blow stuff up with grenades first and foremost. Only after it doesn't work will I see if there's something else I'm supposed to do. All right, then, so... I'm going to go blow this up, and I'll be right back. So if the game wanted to maybe spend a day, maybe just not making myself look like an absolute fool, you know, a day is overly asking for a lot. I'm going to instead say, you know, if you want to maybe spend maybe the next five minutes not trying to make me look like a moron, that'd be pretty great. Although, first and foremost, I can't help but notice that this doesn't look like the type of place where a washing machine should be. So I'm already feeling kind of dumb in that regard. The good news is I can't be harmed while I'm a washing machine. Which is weird, because I, um, I feel like washing machines are kind of known more so for their breaking down more so than just about anything else, other than, you know, cleaning stuff, obviously. Anyway, the stinky, the stinky, stinky poo gas is going to try and chase you down, but if you're immortal, then, you know, it doesn't really matter. All right, then, so, yeah, the, go, going through all of that was entirely pointless. All right, can you hurt me? You should. Oh, no, I'm not immortal. I'm just immortal to chem- uh, you know, to, to, to corrosive chemicals, as it were. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, well, can't collect anything. I have a lot of regrets. Oh, well, would you look at that? That was fun time, so oh, boy. Get underpants! There you go. Captain Underpants would be incredibly proud. At least I assume he would be. Okay, well, mm. How about we try and do the one thing that- it's dawning on me that I think that it's completely pointless being the watching machine right now, and I've been putting a lot of effort into doing something that's completely impossible. I'm beginning to feel like that's, uh, that's definitely the case here. All right, also, I seem to have lost the door. All right, yeah, that, 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 was, that was a lot of effort to accomplish basically nothing. I am feeling suitably embarrassed. Until we can activate the surface elevators, the washing machine can, in fact, not get much of anywhere. How I forgot that aspect is completely beyond me, but somehow I did. Okay, all right, let's just stay as Banjo for a while. How about we don't even bother with the washing machine until we get all of those batteries wherever they need to be? That seems like a good idea. I like that idea. Okay, let's head this way first. 
there seem to, at the very, very, very least, be some notes here and there and everywhere for us to go and pick up, which would be nice. That being said, how am I on the few things that I have collected something in? Okay, I need two more of those, four more of those, three moves. Okay, I thought there was only going to be two, so that's not too bad. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, very good. All nice and dandy. Okay, so a battery needs to go there. Noted, noted. We've got a split up pad because I feel like a battery situation is possible. We've also got what might be... Yeah, actually, I think it is. All right, hang on. First things first. Oh, there's not even a grate up there. All right, my bad. Sorry, my dude. Didn't mean to shoot a grenade at your face. I thought I was going to be destroying the... Honestly, yeah, I was going to be attempting to destroy something that would have still gotten you injured if I threw a grenade at it. But whatever, you're, it is fine. Jinjos are basically immortal unless you run them over with a giant drill, uh, apparently. Also, yeah, there's the battery. Huh. I feel incredibly hesitant to do this, if I'm being honest, but... Okay, if that's what we got to do, I don't see why not. I believe Banjo can still make this jump with his mighty flip-flap attack. Hey, go, come on. Flip those arms, my dude. There we go. All right, let's just head on over. Assuming I'm not getting something horribly wrong and I don't need to use the pack taxi in order to get these things. Hang on. First things first, you gotta smack them, and then I think I can scoop them up, and then I can scoop them up, and then I scoop them up. Good, good, good. Okay, definitely can't get back up there, meaning that there must be- Ow! Okay, cool. Okay, you know, the chemicals are already very clearly hazardous. I don't know if you need weird sentient Venus flytrap monsters! I don't know if that's a thing you really need to add. Oh, wow, I climbed up at the exact perfect moment to not die as a result of that. My goodness. All right, uh, hold on to your biscuits there, Kazooie, my friend. I'm just going to do a little bit of this. And there ya! Additional battery power channel to door. Access is now granted. Uh, here's a question. Why is there a character change dust cloud here? I could just... Go over here and grab Kazooie. I don't... That's a little weird, ain't it? I feel like it is. All right, well, there you go. The electromagnetic chamber. That sounds like a delightful place that won't be cause any harm to us at all. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Gruntilda follows all of the OSHA, viola you know, the guidelines. I was, okay, I mean, if she, wants to if she wants to follow the OSHA violation handout, which is the sentence I almost said, I guess that's within her rights. Except it's not, it's a crime. But you know what I mean. Anyway, hello. Oh, sensors indicate insufficient weight to activate switch. Like even if I slam down on it? What do you want to bet the washing machine is heavy enough for that? Wouldn't that be an incredibly ironic twist of fate? All right, well, how about I look around these other parts first before I go off and do that, eh? Can't help but notice a bit of a button here that I might be able to push. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's explore every possibility before we decide to abandon everything and go transform ourselves over to get do this. Especially on the off chance that transforming into a washing machine isn't even what we need to do in order to accomplish our goal. That's more than possible. Let's not try and lie to ourselves, okay? I'll just try to remember that it's possible that a washing machine is needed for this particular instance. All right, the elevator shaft. Interesting. Okay. Let's climb up as top, top, tippity top as we possibly can. You know, I've never played Metal Gear Solid, but I... This... This angle. Snake Eater! Is that a game anybody would be interested in me playing? I guess I'd have to play the original... You know, the, the ones leading up to it. I think Snake Eater is like the second one? Or is that the third one? I honestly have no idea. I only know what you can learn through pop culture, osmosis, and Snake being in Smash Brothers. You know, that stuff. Anyway, I sure have climbed to the top. Hmm. Oh! I bet that's gonna be incredibly useful and not stupid. What's up? The twin chimneys both have a prize. Okay. Unscrew bolts with the bill drill. That actually is slightly more useful. Okay. Um. Well, I can definitely fall down without any repercussions. That's nice. But I was kind of expecting something of slightly more value. 
Oh, there we go. Fourth floor door. There we go. Somehow I missed that. I guess the camera angle wasn't being too kind with me at that moment. Fair enough. Fair enough. Or maybe I'm just unobservant. Even more possible. Hmm, sure looks like I can't do literally anything about any of this. Can I at least look through? I look familiar to anybody? Because it looks exactly like everything else to me in this place. Alrighty. Was there a third floor door or what? I feel like, ugh. I feel like the odds of it have got to be relatively decent, yeah? I saw the third floor sign, but was there a door on the other end of it? There was! All right, not bad, not bad. Also, totally noticed how this is a 2D sprite for a second there. Normally, the perspective isn't too bad, but when you come in from, you know, that particular camera angle, it's very clearly a 2D image and not 3D modeled. So this is the way we're going to play it, huh? Okay, you know what? If I can't go up... Let's go down! Ha! And that's why you get the upgrade, people. Then again, I could have just used my, you know, damage prevention glitch. That that, that would have worked, too, and probably would have looked a lot more stylish instead of more spite-filled, but, yeah, you know. No need to worry about it. All right. That did not take us anywhere we haven't been to already. Bummer. Okay, well... At the very bare minimum, we can open up the front gate. Apparently, they want us to split up in order to do that. I... Okay, sure. Thank you. All right, I mean, this isn't useful for anything. At least, not at the moment. Oh, but I do know immediately what it is you want me to do with it, though. So, that's good. Question is, do you wonder... Maybe they only want Kazooie up there. I don't know. The fact that they're splitting everybody up certainly seems to be spelling the possibility. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out soon enough. Anyway, switch over to Kazooie! Thank you. Alright, and then we fly! Sort of. Boy, howdy, would it be nice to be able to just fly whenever? Ah, Game-breaking powers! Also, there's the freaking warp pad. That's handy, at least. And now we don't have to rely on train travel to get in and out. Ain't that delightful. Okay, I'm going to assume that Banjo and Kazooie need to be together to do whatever it is that we need to do with those things. And I will not just have Kazooie go off on her own. And when I inevitably, you know, end up proving that I did need to separate the two, then, you know, you could all have a very good ha-ha guffaw about the situation. I, as I very much know that you all super enjoy doing. Don't worry, I'm, 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 I'm painfully aware of that. All right, and, oh no, hang on, go faster. Oh, come on. Nice, nice. All right, fine, I get you, I get you. I have to be faster than I was. Fine, have it your way. You need to be absolutely fearless and quick to make this work in time. You get just barely enough time. Whoa! There we go. Whew. All right, well, I got... I got that. I mean, I'm not going to say that's not a good thing to have, but... Huh. Okay, then. You guys want to see me do something stupid? Let's go! I'm going this way, and it's a bad idea, but I don't care. Ow, my legs. You bit my legs. It's just... Why do I distinctly remember... Huh. So I was wrong. I really thought there was a Jinjo over here. I'm going to be honest with you. That's the entire reason I did that. Well, I did tell you guys I was about to go do something stupid. And boy, howdy, did I ever deliver. So you can't say that I don't deliver on my promises. So that's cool. That's pretty cool. All right, then. You know what? You see that battery up there? I'm going to go get that battery. I'm sure there's somewhere convenient for us to go and be able to put it immediately that I'm not immediately thinking of. Anyway, I'm going to split up and go grab it. I'll be back. Not 100% sure what exactly doing this is going to give me in the long run, but I know for a fact it's something that I've got to do, so, you know, let's just do it, you know? Why not? Let's see. It was right over yonder. Yes, I see you there. I see you there. The waste disposal plant. I'm surprised Gruntilda bothered to even have one of these, if I'm being honest with you. Figured she'd just have it sloshing all over the ground or whatever. Anyway, additional battery power channel to door. Access is now granted. 
I feel like a lot of these are entirely unnecessary, but you know what? Sure, game. I guess it will save a small amount of time having Kazooie just run over here on her own accord, I suppose. Still, but a bit odd to that. Anyway, this could lead to something for us, maybe. That'd be nice. I think that'd be pretty dang cool. Hello, what have we got here? Oh, hello. I don't suppose... Oh, of course. Forget it, punk! You won't be needing that flea bag with you to learn this one. Why, you cheeky? Um... Kazooie's response makes me feel like this is a Banjo exclusive ability? But, because I don't know if she would come to Banjo's defense that way. If I'm being honest. Huh. But at the same time... At the, yeah, but at the exact same time, he said, you don't need that flea bag. And, I mean, a bear could have fleas. Can birds get fleas? Is that a thing? I'm not sure. I'm actually not currently aware. So what am I more likely to believe? The flea bag line or the idea that Kazooie is actually coming to the defense of her friends? So it's either that or birds can have fleas. I mean, I don't want to doubt Kazooie by any stretch, but I mean, I'm just kind of going off of what, quite literally, what the game itself tries to establish. She's a snarky, rude individual. So, I mean, her response sure made it seem more likely she'd be just kind of upset about, hey, why you gotta get rid of me? That's stupid and lame of you to say. So, yeah. Am I right? I was right. When you're feeling rather low, I know a place that you can go. Zed followed by Bright C removes your pack. Have a nap to get your energy back. Oh, okay, messed that one up pretty bad. Alright, so, yeah. That is exactly what it sounds like. Hallo! At any given moment in time, when Banjo is on his own, he can nap. Now, you might think, okay, well, that's kind of cool, I guess. But is that really something that's all that useful? Really? You'd be surprised, actually. This snooze pack is literally the way we're going to get past that Stomposaurus. Also, you'll notice the Banjo only door over there. Interesting that. Interesting that. How... Exactly? Hmm. Banjo himself needs to get over there, solo style. Granted. Uh oh. Okay, yeah. How about no? Oh, well, this is an awkward situation now, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to, um. Kind of hope that you get bored. And you got bored. Later, nerd. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I... Hmm. Let me look... Let me look inside that thing for a second. There is another ability... Okay, really? There is another ability that Banjo learns that would be able to take care of that, but... Okay, well, there's the jolly... Oh, hey! I remember these. Very neat. Very neat. Everything is tied together with a nice little bow. Um, all right. Well, you know what? What if I just, like, didn't care and did this? What would happen exactly? I see. Fair enough, game. Well played. All right. Well, oil and water. Okay, well, I'm just kind of confused because I know, I know for a fact that there is an ability that Banjo can gain in order to go over there. No problem, no questions asked, but if that's the case, why would they make it... They make it seem like, you know, the sleep pack ability is what he needs in order to get through that, but I'm, I assure you it's, it's definitely not. It's an entirely different ability. Huh. More than slightly odd. Okay. Man, I... <sighs> This is proving to be a fine kettle of fish. All right, well, don't worry, don't worry. I just need to get my bearings, and I'll remember, I will. As, ah, I absolutely swear upon it to you all. I just need to remember. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm really trying to switch over to Kazooie. Thank you, universe, jeez. Okay, now, reunited and it feels so good. Thank you, all right. 
Hey, it's been a long time since I've hit anybody with that attack. Nice. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'm gonna do myself a wee bit of thinking, and I'll be back. Of that I assure. Alright, I may not remember literally everything about everything, but I do know a thing or two. And first things first, I know for a fact that there is a sentient talking toilet in this place, and it needs me to go and say hello. So we're going to ignore all of the safety precautions that we might possibly need to follow, and we're going to go to the bathroom. Hey there, Banjo! Logo, what are you doing here? Well, Grunty ripped me out of a mansion and stuck me in here. Boy, you should see the messes some of those workers make. I don't want to know. Anyway, someone thought it funny to fill me full of paper. I really need unblocking, if you wouldn't mind. We do, actually. And yet, we shall try to help anyway. You might be wondering, how exactly do you help unclog a toilet as we are? You might think, oh, I don't know, maybe doing something like that or something, maybe that would work? Yeah, honestly, that would have been my first guess too, but no, I remember it quite clearly. You gotta shoot a grenade at the toilet. And for some reason, that works. Did that help? Yep, yeah, I can feel a movement in my U-band. You better stand back, this could be messy. And there we have it. Not a jiggy, but still something pretty good. It's a Cheeto book page. No use to me, though. I only like the quilted stuff. I guess you're gonna have it. And I shall have it. Thank you kindly, sentient talking toilet named Lago. Of all the characters from the first game to make a reappearance in this one, I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not anticipate the toilet. At least this time we don't actually have to be flushed down him. That's a... That's a noteworthy step in the right direction. I don't think most people would really want to do that on the day-to-day, -day, but, eh, you know, to each their own, to each their own. All right, so, moving past that, you know, we can't use our new banjo move on that one room, but, you know, we can definitely do something entirely different. It's a bit of a weird one, but it'll work. Honestly, in the long line of things that really don't seem like it should work, but it somehow does, this has got to be pretty high up there. Okay, so, we just have to walk through this crushing machine. And I'm sure absolutely nothing bad will happen. And that's sort of a lie, but sort of not a lie, in the sense that, alright, yeah, we are basically next to dead, which, oh, yeah, definitely a bad thing, but we can do this! And with a quick snooze and a snooze, we got nothing to worry about. We're back to full power. All is good and well. Quick question, though. What is over in this direction, if I may quickly ask and refresh my brainscapes? What is it that we've got here? We're back on floor one, but to what degree? We're just up here? Is there any reason why we would want to be here? I can't honestly think of one. Alright, interesting that they would bother making this hole. Okay. Um, n I'm not even joking. I think that's completely worthless. Anyway, let's just get our head partially caved in uh, once more. And I say partially caved in, but our head is like completely missing flat. And I was like, that's just all kinds of messed up. Anyway, another quick snooze of a snooze. All is good. All is well. Get ourselves all back and fully charged. There you go. Then we step on this. And that opens up a hatch, and at long, long, long last, we can finally get ourselves a dang jiggy up in this place. Alright, get partially smashed. Interesting that only our head is destroyed partially, and that's the weird thing. You'd think your whole dang body would get smashed up something fierce. Not nearly as much as you'd think. Anyway, a very strange way of getting a jiggy, but it works. And it's odd just how many instances this game has of that happening. Like... Uh, well, what are we exactly are we supposed to do? Well, forcefully have Banjo go through extraordinary physical pain and then just have him take a nap when he gets out. It's all you really have to do in order to solve your problem. This is how we're going to have to deal with the Stomposaurus back in Pterodactyl Land, as a matter of fact. If that weren't entirely obvious, if you're wondering how exactly that was supposed to help, that really is it. You just take the damage and heal it off and keep going. Pretty interesting, I've got to say. All right, then. Well, seeing as how you two are what right and proper separated, it'd be pretty dang swell if I could actually go back to being... Or not go back to being, but rather if I could just be Kazooie, if that is all the same with Chi. And I think that it might be Manami. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, well, anyway. hup -tow. There we go. Let's just quickly switch back over to Kazooie. Once I hit the right button... 
Sometimes I think it's B, sometimes I think it's A. Either way, it doesn't really go that well. Anyway, okay, so I actually remembered something. You just got kung fu -ed. That's what happens. All right, let's go, 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 go. There's a little old thing that Kazooie can do all on her lonesome, but we need to be quick and we only have one HP, so here's hoping that we don't get ourselves dead it and somehow we didn't. Okay, now go, Kazooie! Run like the wind! Woo! There you go, there you go. All right, now it's not too intuitive, but what you gotta do is... Uh, okay. Great! Uh, I, I honestly felt like what I, what I did was the thing that I was supposed to do. It wasn't. That's on me, and I apologize, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Just gonna go over to yonder and grab the cups yet again. We're gonna try again, this time with a little less falling on our face, if at all possible. Dare to dream, as it were. We'll just go right around. There you go. For some reason. Oh, God! All right, well, so much for that. You don't even lose your health that way. You just get consumed by the creature, apparently. What a bummer that is. <laughs> ah! Sneezy! Ah, sorry. Ugh, okay, well. All right, third time's the charm, as they say. Let's try one more time. One more time. I need to get over there as Kazooie. I need to break the window, and I need to jump in. It's not that hard. If I could do so without getting eaten by horrifying slime monsters or sneezing, that'd be really great. All right, now, once more. No more suction cups, don't need them. Okay, let's do this, and then that, and then spin. There you go. Okay. Took a few more tries than I would have appreciated, but yeah, as long as we get, you know, everything sorted out in the end, no major problems, I suppose. All right, now you might be wondering, well, couldn't you get over here as Banjo and Kazooie? Well, you could, you could, but you can't make this jump as the two of them. You need to just be normal Kazooie. She can go a bit further this way. Intruder a lot. Back up required to defend Grunty's treasure. Uh oh, do I have the grenades hooked up? I don't at the time. Whoa. Okay, hang on. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yep. All right. Sure. Wish I could aim a little bit more properly. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Yep. All right. Sure is gonna suck. Okay. Now if I could just. All right. Let's blow you up, and then blow you up, and then you up, and. All right, the slight homing capabilities of our eggs are coming in handy there. Oh, Intruder has defeated the Tin Tops. Grunty's treasure has been lost. Indeed it has, and I'm okay with that. Uh, could I have some of those honeycombs you guys dropped? No, they seem to have vanished from the face of the earth. Ain't that a bummer and a half. Okay then, well, if that's the way it's gonna be, then fairly well. All right, that is another good reason why you should always make sure that you have that never die when falling over cheat activated. Okay, so how exactly... Alright, well... I'm trying to think of how exactly Kazooie is supposed to get back to Banjo. That's okay, you know what? We can always just do this. It's a bit overkill, honestly, but if it works, it works, and you can't complain if something is functional. Alright, so I should be able to just go leapy leapy... and a little spinny spinny. There you go. Now they've been reunited something good. All right, now, something that's been bugging me is we could actually, very quickly, I feel... Uh, do we need to climb in order to do this? No, I don't think so. Where is that thing that was bugging me so? There's like a couple of note thingamadoos just kind of chilling, you know, and I'd, I'd like to go and get them. All right, first and foremost, you need to stop being alive because you caused me great strife. There it is, there it is, okay. Would like to go ahead and grab those while we have the time. All right, come on. All right, somehow botch that jump something fierce. Way that it is, don't jump down there and instead grab a hold of this thing I'm gonna do. Try not to get yourself absolutely fresh, flash fried, and you'll be fine. You'll be fine and good. There you go. Hop, skip, doodly do, and there you go. All righty then. Now that takes care of some of the things that I'm. Sure of. Now, what exactly do I do? Uh, well, I have an idea. I think that I use the service elevators incorrectly. And if that is, in fact, the truth, then 
then I think the way to really start making progress is going to require us turning back into that washing machine. As much as I'd rather not, but... <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta take make the big time sacrifices, as it were. Alright then, let's just take some looks to lose around. And everything should be A-OK. -okay. First and foremost, get out of my face, you big nerd. Don't need none of that in our lives. Also, on top of everything else... Okay, well, as long as I've opened up the areas... Let me take a look around here real quick. Before I transform, I know you're a thing, and I'm not too happy about that. Right, right, so the notepads that I was trying to get... There you go, there you go. I don't know why I call them notepads, they're not. They're more of a note nest because of the bird nest around them and what have you, but... Regardless of that fact, okay, yep, 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 don't wanna. Don't wanna. Okay, 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 please stop with all that business. I'd like to quickly check to see what this story is all about. Thank you, thank you, okay, all right. My goodness. Let's see, what is the purpose of this land? It appears to be some kind of switch. Switches are good. Switches activate all manner of good times. At least is how I'm going to say and believe it. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I remember that. But until I do find a way to activate those flight pads, they're not exactly going to be the most useful thing in the world. So, not quite something worth doing yet. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Alright. Actually, wasn't there something akin to that so does one of these boxes one of these boxes does all right hang on a second hang on a second hang on i remember i remember some things although i feel like we actually need to not do we can we do this with banjo or does it need to just be kazooie oh no it definitely needs to just be kazooie whoopsies all right well that's um not optimal okay that's okay that's okay we can fix that right quick Assumingly not getting dumped into the ooey-gooey awfulness. Even though the, the toxic sludge in of itself is not something that you need, which is odd. Also, I noticed something here. Hang on a second. If I could just aim properly, couldn't I just... Okay, well, see, that's really the main issue now, isn't it? If I could just aim properly. Yeah, well, as it turns out, I'm not very good at that. There you go. All right. That ends up saving yourself a little bit of time. All right. Then we definitely need to be the Kazooie, and the Kazooie alone. Then we can go over there and get ourselves a thing, and we can get ourselves a new power. And I feel like everybody could benefit from a little bit of that. Alright, just gonna go ahead and grab me some of those. Thank you very much. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Suction cups are such an interesting thing in fiction, as they always seem to do exactly what you need to. Have you ever tried to actually, like, stick a plunger onto something like the way that they do in cartoons and stuff? It doesn't work nearly as well as you'd think. Regardless, want this one? I think you might. It greatly increases your jumping height. Hold down Z and then per se, bend your legs and be on your way. There you go. I was wondering what was so weird about the fact that Kazooie couldn't do a big super jump after crouching. That's because you have to learn it. There you go. That solves a lot of your issues. All right, so, hmm. I might be horribly, horribly wrong about this, but on the off chance that I'm not, let me do a little bit of experimenting here. Because... It, ow, alright, well, I didn't feel like I had really fallen that far, but fine. Have it your way, I guess. Alright, don't mind I me. Mean, just sneak it on by. You don't have to activate your security measures and whatever. It's a bunch of nonsense. You don't gotta... Constantly go on and on about all of that. I mean, my goodness. Alright, then. Let's have Banjo go out solo style. Because I'm pretty sure there's one of those buttons that if you get off of them, they they deactivate. And you need them separated. I don't remember if it's for... I don't. I actually don't remember what it's for, but it's for something. I know that much. Yep. Alright, that, that's, that's immediate yes. I don't know if it's a Jiggy, a Jinjo, a Honeycomb, or a Cheeto page, but it's something we need, yeah? It's a Jinjo! Fair and dandy! Alright. Now we switch back over to the old kazoo. Q, Q regard, Q kazooie. There you go. She doesn't like to talk about that because it's a very silly name, but there you go. 
All right, then we just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and we shouldn't slam into the ground hard enough to hurt ourselves. Even if, you know, we can't. But still, I I'd prefer to not have them have to go through the animation. It still looks painful. I mean, my goodness, come on now. All right, let's go get ourselves that Ding Dang Jinjo. Okay, but at least we're actually making something resembling progress now. We definitely hit what a heck of a roadblock there, but I'm starting to piece things together a little bit. Anyway, hello there! I'm going to need you to not be a thing that exists, if at all possible. And then we're going to need ourselves some suction cups again! We can just go right up yonder! No problems! It's a very large wall to climb, my goodness! It's an esoteric amount of, eh, twists and turns for it, too. Alright, that being said, what's over here? Oh, apparently more suction cup thingies. Well, we have infinite jumps, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. All this is still gonna hurt! Woo, wow, we really got some distance on that slide. Jeez. Okay then, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, now reunited, and ain't that swell. Yeah, that was right, it does go down. They don't give you that weird changing dust cloud thingamadoo unless it, there's something resembling a point for it. I mean, sometimes it might be mildly useful rather than required, but I digress. 